Hello everybody and welcome to Bethesda's conference. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Yeah, they were telling quite a few lies in uh, this conference. Like, um, you know, there was one where they said Fallout was their most sold and talked about game. No, it's not. It's Skyrim. I'm not going to go into all the lies. You know, we're not here for the lies. We're here solely for what was going on. But they did tell quite a few lies. Uh, very naughty boys there. But their conference was rather bland. It was just a lot of DLC. Like, don't get me wrong. It was okay DLC, but... It was just DLC nonetheless, so we can skim over quite a lot of Bethesda's conference. Because, uh, what did we have? Let me just think about this. Uh, we had the Fallout Shelter DLC, which is nothing really. Because they said like, oh, well, Fallout Shelter's coming to the PC. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. You know, if you do it like Clicker Heroes, where... It's well balanced, sure, we'll give it a go. And then they added quests. I thought that quests were already in the game, like, isn't the point of Fallout Shelter, you send people out, they get food and water and they come back, is that not a quest? So it said quests plus PC version. Alright, so that's, that's the Fallout Shelter DLC, so that's done. Then we have the, what other DLC did we have? We have the normal Fallout DLC. More crafting. I don't like the crafting. Like, I tried to build a settlement in Fallout 4. It was kind of shit. And now they've added elevators and conveyor belts and all this other stuff to it. Eh, alright, fair enough. It's just more stuff for the workshop. If people can make that stuff work, people can build it. Good for them. We did get a look at some new DLC, which is... New Cola World or some sort of Coca-Cola Land, like Disneyland, but they literally only showed one image of it. So that was the opening bit where you know you buy your tickets before you actually get into Disneyland. You know, like how you you drive in, like when with all the Disneylands, like you drive in, you pick your parking space, then you walk to the booths, you buy your ticket to get in, or you like you pay to get into the park. And then, like, when you get into the park, you're not properly in the park. There's, like, a little fountain area with all of the shops, you know, because when you leave, you usually buy your souvenirs when you leave. So that's why they put all the shops around the little fountain area. Then you get into the park itself. Well, that's all they showed. Like, it was an aerial shot of the ticket booths and then the little fountain area where all the shops are. And you could see, like, the castle and the rides and stuff in the background, but... We didn't get to see any of that. We just got, got like, the little shop area. So, I guess that's nowhere near done yet. So, that's that's that. We move on straight away. Although, I will say, considering, like, Fallout's supposed to have some silly moments, I hope we get the, the Coca-Cola costume. Like, the bottle of Coke, I want to run around and kill Death Claws while dressed up as a happy bottle of Coke. That would be silly and funny, and I would like it. Uh... Next was the Elder Scrolls Online DLC. It, again, it's the Dark Brotherhood quest. That's that's all it is. So you can perform the Black Sacrament. Mother, sweet mother, deliver your child to me. Uh, Dark Brotherhood will appear. And uh, then you'll join the Dark Brotherhood. And there is constant Dark Brotherhood quests. Like the Dark Brotherhood quests never end. Like Skyrim, there is actually a Dark Brotherhood story. You know where... You can hear the Night Mother, so you become the Seer and you rule the Dark Brotherhood in eventually. So, there is a main Dark Brotherhood quest, but then there's obviously like the uh, assassin missions which endlessly respawn. So, that's all there is to say on that. Dark Brotherhood DLC coming to Elder Scrolls Online looks pretty good. Again, that's all I can really say. Uh, then we got the Doom DLC. You might have noticed there's a lot of DLC here. Which is, uh, like, I can't remember if it's called Level Snap or Snap Level or something like that. Basically, you can make your own levels in Doom. Again, it's alright, I guess. Like, it's kind of pulling a Mario Maker, make your own levels, and 
while it's a good idea, I always like to see all of these building and customization options in different games. It's gonna turn into Mario Maker. You know, like, if you want all them mystery mushrooms, you have to play the expert and super expert levels, which are all Kaizo levels. And you know everybody else is gonna make Kaizo levels in Doom. Like, I can imagine there's gonna be a level where you start off, you've only got your starting pistol, no other weapons, and you walk into the first room, and the first room is filled with those, uh, like, six of those Eye of the Beholster guys, you know, these guys. So, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that people are, are just going to make Kaizo levels in Doom. So, there you go. And then they're releasing, like, a few extra modes for the multiplayer. That's the Doom DLC. Man, we are absolutely pouring through this, aren't we? Next up, Bethesda VR. It's VR. I don't give two shits about VR. They're just like... We know the Oculus Rift caused eye strain and the Oculus Rift was bad. So that's why all of our games are going to be on the HTC Vive. So coming uh, like autumn or whatever, you can have uh, Fallout 4 and uh, Skyrim on the Vibe. And you can play it on the Vibe and virtual reality. And, you know, I'll make, my own, I'll make an own separate video on virtual reality because... Fuck me, Sony, Sony did so much virtual reality and, oh, that annoyed me. Like, every company is guilty of it so far. Microsoft, Bethesda, Sony, Ubisoft, every one of them had this stupid VR bollocks and that's going to be its own separate video. But yeah, Bethesda VR, they've got some games on the vibe or they're putting some games on the vibe. Nobody fucking cares because... You know, the vibe's $800. People don't want to pay $800. Make it a lot cheaper. You know, at least Sony's, um... At least Sony's PlayStation VR is $400. I mean, that's still quite expensive, but at least it's not 800 like the vibe, so... You know, no one's going to drop 800 on your vibe. So, yeah, Bethesda VR, nobody cares. Uh, what else was there? Uh, there was Prey. Prey was... A new IP they were going to show off, but I don't think it's ready yet. No gameplay footage whatsoever. They literally showed one pre-rendered cutscene in an apartment. Probably something like Mirror's Edge. You know, you're you're a guy that works every day and you're going to take down the corrupt government. I don't know. Again, they didn't show anything off about Prey. Except for that one cutscene. So, they've got a new IP in the works. So, there you go. That's, that's all we can say on that. Prey. It's a new IP. They've got it in the works. Unlike, uh, well, no, actually, all the new IPs were all pre-rendered cutscenes this year. But yeah, so pray, new IP in the works. That's that's all we can say. So this is how quick we're just tunneling through Bethesda's stuff. We've only been doing this for seven minutes, unlike EA, where we went for like thirty. Uh, what was next? Quake Championship. I wanna I wanna play a clip now. 20 years later, Quake is still played in tournaments across the globe. Liar! Exactly! You're a liar! You're an absolute liar! No one's played Quake in ages! Like, the last time Quake was relevant was when I was in school, right? That's like 10 years ago. That's when I was in school, and we all had this charity event where, you know, you stayed up all night, and it was like... All everybody did that night, you know, there was midnight barbecues, you'd go take a break, but all everybody did that night was stay in the computer room playing Quake 2. Like, if you said to people, what's your arena shooters today? They're gonna say Doom, they're gonna say Team Fortress 2, they're gonna say anything but Quake. You lied! As for the game, I know a lot of people are pissed off about it. I don't really care. I don't think Quake's relevant. I know, like, there are very few th that think Quake is relevant. And the few Quake fans that I do know didn't like it. Apparently, they wanted a single-player game. Uh, Quake Champions is like Quake Arena, so it is a multiplayer-only game. It's, like, got no single-player. It's going to be online multiplayer, like Overwatch or Star Wars Battlefront. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people... Said it looks alright, like, you know, with the different heroes, because everybody wants to be Overwatch now, so everybody's, like, having hero-based, yeah, not really interested. 
But they were kind of happy that they've got at least a girl because, you know, it shows diversity in the industry and it's good that you can get female players involved. But Quake's pretty much irrelevant at this point. I don't know why they bother making Quake. And there was no gameplay again, so, like, all pre-rendered, no gameplay whatsoever. Can't comment on it. Didn't show off any demos. So there you go, that's, that's that down. So we've only got uh, three left. Skyrim Remake, don't even bother getting it. Like, let, let me tell you all, right? That Skyrim Remake is a load of bollocks. It's only to get money out of you. Why? Three reasons. Reason number one is because the PlayStation 4 ain't backwards compatible. So it's like, oh, you played Skyrim on the PS3, you really liked it? Well, sorry, PS3 games aren't backwards compatible, so I guess you're going to have to buy the PS4 version. Money, 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 money. Secondly, Skyrim HD already exists. Like, if you've got a PC, and I'm sorry if this is a... Like, for all of you people with a console that don't have a PC. But let me tell you, all you console users are getting scammed out the arse by this. Because Skyrim HD already exists. They haven't actually put any work into that Skyrim HD whatsoever. Do you want to know why? Look at any one of my Skyrim videos. Look at one of my newest Skyrim videos on this PC. It's like... The graphics are set to high, and we've got Skyrim UI running. Skyrim UI was basically a mod to fix all of the poor graphics and broken shit of Skyrim. Like, if you ever play Skyrim on the PC, you need Skyrim UI. And that's all they've done. That is literally all they've done. They've took the original Skyrim and put Skyrim UI in there. They've literally just added Skyrim UI to make it look pretty. And the mod support, PC already has mod support. So, you know, if you're, if you're, if you've got a PS4 and you're like, oh, I never played Skyrim, don't, just get a PC, mate, just buy it on PC. It's $7 on PC, like £5 because it's always on sale. You can get, like, all the DLCs if you pay, like, £14. But, you know, $7 for Skyrim and Skyrim UI is free, as are all the mods. So you can get Skyrim HD right now on Steam for $7. You've just got to add Skyrim UI yourself. The only difference is this version that Bethesda's trying to hawk has Skyrim UI already added. So they're talking bollocks, mate. They're talking bollocks. Next up, Legends of Skyrim. It's a Hearthstone knockoff. Oh, and this is the biggest lie. Like, let me just get this one up. This is the absolute biggest lie. As I said, I'm very excited about Legends as it brings together an award-winning franchise that I love and a new genre. New genre. New genre. New genre. Liar! You're a liar! New genre. This is a brand new genre! No, it isn't! No, it isn't! It's Hearthstone. It's fucking Hearthstone. And, you know, even before this, like, we've got Witcher 3 that has Gelt in it. Card game in video game. You've got Hearthstone. And even Skylanders, as shit as it is, had that shitty card game. Let me find a clip of it. Here you go. Here's a clip of that shitty Skylanders card game. It's not a new genre. It's not new. Is it video card games in video games that have existed for ages? And you're just ripping off Hearthstone. And you know it looks pretty good. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock them for it. Legends of Skyrim looks all right, but I've already got all my time invested into Hearthstone. I've already got Deathwing. It took me like hours to get a Deathwing card. Do you think I wanna? Do you wanna think I wanna go and pour all those hours into getting an Alduin card? I mean, don't get me wrong, Alduin's a very sexy dragon, but I can't put all my time in getting an Alduin card because I'm already invested in Hearthstone and I've already invested my time in getting the Deathwing card and now I'm trying to get the Astros card. You can't, you can't do it. Everybody, if people are new to this, people are going to get Legends of Skyrim and they're going to enjoy it. For everybody that has played Hearthstone, they'll probably have already invested too much time into Hearthstone to want to want to wanna play the Hearthstone clone, so... It looks alright, but everybody's going to be playing Hearthstone. So, as you can see, like, Bethesda didn't bring their A-game. It was just DLC and knockoffs of, like, you know, 
Skyrim HD. Yeah, we've already got it on PC and Legends of Skyrim Hearthstone. The only really big announcement they made was Dishonored. And that one looks goddamn amazing. That is so nice. Like, you can play as a male or female. Great diversity. You've got all these powers which you're going to be able to use. Like, you've got this thing where you can turn into an evil Shadow Heartless from Kingdom Hearts and Shadow Heartless your way across to a man and rip him apart. You've got this time mechanic where you can see, like, the past and the future timelines. So, like, uh, here, you can see this guard in the past, and then you're in the future. So you get behind him in the future, kill him in the past, then go back to the future. So, that looks awesome. You've got the, uh grappling hook thing, the Widowmaker grappling hook where you throw your arm out and you can grapple up, up to areas or pull enemies close towards you, that looks great and then you've got the domino effect which is the most broken thing ever because you see how she's chaining enemies together here so they all got knocked out at the same time via that bomb right at the end you see her chain together like some enemies with the domino effect then shoot one in the head and they all die. That looks extremely, extremely broken. And I imagine people are going to be abusing the shit out of that. But on the whole, Dishonored, look, Dishonored 2 looks fantastic. You know, it ha looks like it's got some great gameplay. All of the streets and the worlds that's showing off in both the gameplay and this cutscene of the island of Umanaka. Because it has a weird name and I can't remember the name, so... I'm just going to say it's the name from Banjo-Kazooie when Mumbo-Jumbo talks, where he's like, Umanaka! Umanaka! So, yeah, the the island of Umanaka looks uh, looks great. I think someone said it was like Ka Ka Karanaka, which is like from the Bionicle movies. Don't know, I'd have to look that up, but can't be asked because Bethesda was kind of subpar. So yeah, Dishonored 2 looks fantastic. I'm hyped as hell for Dishonored 2, but the conference as a whole, final verdict here, 2 out of 5, pretty poor. You know, all it really did was show off some DLCs, was lying out of its arse. Nothing really to it. Only The only one that was any decent was Dishonored 2. So, Dishonored 2, that gets in the good box. What else have we got here? Uh, I mean, Skyrim HD... <laughs> Maybe, but it's it's kind of a lie. Quake Champions probably crap. VR's crap. Doom DLC, make your own levels. Uh, that's probably a maybe. Elder Scrolls could be good, but I don't play Elder Scrolls online. And Fallout 4 DLC, Nuka World, Nuka Cola World looks great. Nuka Cola World looks fantastic. Uh, so maybe Bethesda's a lot of maybes. Like Fallout Shelter for PC, I've heard it was all right on mobile. So maybe. Doom DLC, make your own levels, maybe, but I think everything's going to go Kaizo. Legends of Skyrim, could be good, but it's a Hearthstone knockoff, so again, it's a maybe. Skyrim Remake, again, looks pretty great. It's, it's Skyrim, but more of it. But we've already got it on PC, but maybe people will buy it if they haven't got a PC. So again, it's all a maybe, really. Um, and then we just move into the bad shit. Like, Bethesda VR, complete crap. Quake Champions is apparently going to be crap. Prey, we didn't see anything of whatsoever, so that's going to be crap. And then, obviously, like, Sky, uh, Elder Scrolls Online, Dark Brotherhood DLC is a maybe, because I don't play Elder Scrolls Online, but maybe people will like it, maybe they won't. So, there's the very mediocre 2 out of 5. But, you know, maybe the next one will be better. Who have we got next? Microsoft? Oh, I can't wait for Microsoft, because uh, that is a main company. You know, we have Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft. So we got one of the big three companies. So let's see if our first AAA company, like the bit one of the big three, can impress us. But for now, thank you all for watching my thoughts on the Bethesda conference. Yeah, it was kind of alright, but not really. One bad. We just had Dishonored 2 for the most part. If you enjoyed my thoughts, then don't forget to leave a like. Tell me what you thought of the Bethesda conference. Was the things that you liked more? Was the things you disliked more? What we what did you think of the Bethesda conference? And now, at 498 subscribers, 498, only two away, two away. So, uh, if you want to hit that subscribe button, I would really, really appreciate it. Only two away from the next big milestone of 500.
hundred, half a thousand, baby. But for now, thank you all for watching, and I'll see all of you for my thoughts on the Microsoft conference. New genre, new genre, new genre. New genre.